Nelson. I miss Hall. Um, so what we're doing today, you're going to teach you guys how to take word problems um, and write an equation and then go back and answer whatever specific question um, that word problem is asking you to solve for. So the first thing I want you to do, um, we're going to go back to our triangles and our squares. Um, so our triangle, if you remember from the last time we did word problems, that means the slope. Okay, which in this case, you're also going to see it referred to as M, remember from our equation. And our rectangle is going to be our y-intercept, which in terms of the relation, um, the equation, I'm sorry, it's going to be B. So let's start with number one. It says, suppose that the water level of a river is 34 feet and that it is receding at a rate of 5 tenths foot per day. Write an equation for the water level L after D days, and how many days will the water level be 26 feet? So we've got two things we're going to do. First, we have to write an equation, and then we have to figure out how many days. Okay, so whenever we go through and look at this, um, we need to figure out which one of these numbers that they give us is the triangle, which means that it's going to be attached to our x, the variable. So if you look at this, because this says per day, you know that it's going to be your 5 tenths. But what's important about this is that it says receding, and receding means that you are taking away a negative. So that leaves our 34 feet getting our rectangle. So I'm going to write it in y equals first, and then I'm going to change it into the variables that they want us to use. So y equals my slope is my 0.5. But remember, we agreed that it was a negative 0.5x and then plus 34. So if we plug it in into the variables that they want, they want L and after D days. So L equals negative 5 tenths D plus 34. Okay, so that is your first part of the answer. The second part, it says how many days will the water level be? In how many days will the water level be 26 feet, okay? So water level is 26, so that's our L. 26, I'm going to plug my 26 in where the L is. The rest of it remains the same. Negative 5 tenths D plus 34. So now we're just going to solve this equation like we did several weeks ago. So subtract 34. Subtract 34. Because my 34 is bigger and it's a negative, I know my answer is going to be negative. Remember, if you're already in the negatives, but we're going to add 30 or 26 more, we still stay in the negatives. So to figure out what our answer is going to be, I'm actually going to just subtract from the 34 on top. Okay, and I get 8. So it's a negative 8 equals a negative 5 tenths D divided by a negative 5 tenths. So I know that's going to become a positive. So I'm going to run out of room. So I'm going to come up in here. So 8 divided by a 0.5 or a 5 tenths. Move your decimal 1 over. 5 goes into 8 once. Bring down that 0. 5 goes into 36. So D equals 16. So that's 16 days. So at 16 days, the water level is going to be 26 feet. Okay, for babysitting, Nicole charges a flat fee of $3 plus $5 per hour. Write an equation for the cost, C, after eight hours of babysitting. How much money will she make if she babysits for five hours? Okay, so remember our um, strategies of trying putting a triangle around our coefficient and a box around our constant. And so remember the coefficient, which is our M in this case, we're looking for those keywords, each, every, per, and so we see $5 per hour, so that is our um, slope or our coefficient, and then a flat fee we know is $3, that is our constant. So we're going to write our equation, and it says they want to find it for C, so I'm just going to say C equals, which is cost, um, 5 H for hours is our variable, plus 3 is her flat rate of $3 per hour. So now um, we wrote our equation. It asked how much would she make if she did that? 
five hours. So we're just going to put five in where H is. Five times five is 25 plus three. She would make $28 for working five hours. Okay, so we want you guys to try the last one by yourself um, and come prepared then for the next time we have class and we'll make sure and I'll read three very carefully because you actually have three things that you need to have for your answer. Bye. Bye.